Good day viewers, well I'm going to try and repair these computer speakers. They aren't actually too bad for what they are. Better than today's modern garbage anyway. It was made in the April 25th, 1995. Now, I did mention I was doing troubleshooting on this, and this bloody IC popped. So after eBay, I bought some very cheaply. So I got more than, more than what I needed. Just over two bucks, free shipping. Got a love China. And I got some decent solder week because I was running out. So I forgot to just check resistors around this bloody thing that popped. Just to check they're still okay. Because as soon as it started magic smoking, bang, I unplugged it to prevent further damage to the circuitry. So hopefully um nothing too far uh, got, was too far damaged. I test these just to the normal arms reading on, the, on a multimeter. Hopefully those caps didn't go bang. Okay, I checked those resistors around them. They seem to be okay. It seems hot enough now. It's time to start ripping those old ones out. Okay, viewers, the old pop I see is taken out. So I said I've checked everything else around it, so... Uh, let's give it a quick test. Okay, viewers. Moment of truth, it's time to test this thing. I find a royalty free song to play through this, I don't want to get so I don't get in trouble for any um copyright infringement. So let's find something that's royalty free. What have I got here? Uh, let's have a look here. Alright, let's get this track ready to play. iPod volume down a bit, because I've got the volume on this thing turned up. Alright, i got the Wolf of Cooker, that's royalty free, I'm pretty sure. Now, I did test this. All the readings came out fine, so... Sounds good. Yeah, dirty controls, I thought so. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Dirty controls now. I'm not getting too hot either. Power off. Now that one there seems too long without the heat sink. Now I had the volume up almost flat out there, so I'm shutting that off so that those don't burn out. Oh, I just got bad controls I gotta clean now. Alright. Yeah, let's get those controls a good clean. I'm gonna put the heat sink back on, so it should be fixed. Okay, viewers, just before I um Go ahead and uh, put this back together. I put this under the radio, adjusted the balance on left channel, the sound came out perfect. Turn it to right channel, the sound came out perfect still. But when I put it to normal, it's as if one channel is not working. So I know that channel is working. So this is the old chip here. So I'm going to replace that as well. Because I reckon these chips are bloody dodgy. So i see how it goes once I replace that one here as well. I bet you the audio quality will be a lot better again. Ah, so cute. Hmm. Phew, your breath stinks, cat. Fish breath. Eh? Hey? Oh, tired kitty. Hey. Charlotte, look. Uh, affectionately rub on all over my finger. Get some sleep, cat. So cute. Oh, gotta love cats.
whiskers licking Charlotte. Okay, there was a place that other audio driver. It's a good idea to do it anyway, because you don't want a new one next to an old one. It's got to be at the same, um, uh, made at the same time. Alright, I just tested it and it works, but I still got the ba uh, channel balancing problem. So now I'll look at capacitors next. So I'll do that in another video. So this will be part one. Yeah. They're all licking each other again. Thanks for watching.